And now to Coweta County, a community trying to pick up the pieces, their homes torn apart and lives uprooted by a powerful EF4 tornado. This morning, schools are still closed and there are efforts underway to restore power to thousands of homes. They're still in the dark this morning. Mara Sirianni live from Noonan, the hardest hit city. And Mara, some buildings hit directly by the tornado were completely destroyed. For those still standing, it could be a while before the lights come back on. What's the timetable here? They were some of those buildings were leveled, so Noonan Utilities say at this point they still have about 2000 customers still in the dark this morning. They have made tremendous progress, but this was a massive cleanup effort over the weekend, and if for some of these hardest hit areas, it could take at least a week to restore power, and that would really be best case scenario, and I'm actually standing in one of those hardest hit neighborhoods right now, right near Noonan High School, and there is still debris blocking some of the roadways here. It's kind of hard to see. Uh, it is, of course, still dark out and um, not many lights on in this area, but I want to get you to some video of what things looked like over the weekend. This is drone video again, really just of the massive cleanup efforts here in Noonan. Many historic homes and buildings again were destroyed. The storm was strong enough to shift some homes off their foundation. As of last check again, about 2000 customers still without power, but that's down from the initial 6500. The Red Cross is still helping those people who are affected. Plus neighbors are helping neighbors and even complete strangers. Now, I've never seen so many people come together and then try to help just out of their their own uh, free will, not because they're being paid. I mean, I'm not being paid here, so uh, people just want to show people that, you know, they care about them and uh, we want to show people that God cares about them. And so we've been talking about Noonan High School. The school sustained damage to each of its buildings. Uh, we've also been talking about Atkinson Elementary. Both schools, again, sustaining massive damage. And the superintendent says that he expects both schools to remain closed through the end of Coweta's school uh, spring break. All right, makes sense there, Mara. Thank you. And